you will never feel ready to do things that scare you. You will never feel ready to jump off the cliff. You will never feel ready to take that leap. And the reason why is based on science and research. Your brain is designed to protect you and change requires risk. And so you are protecting yourself by saying maybe tomorrow. This is where the five second rule comes in super handy. So if you are constantly procrastinating, you probably have a bias towards thinking and you can use the five second rule to literally push yourself to take action. All you're gonna do is count backwards, five, four, three, two, one. That's it. I know it's as dumb as the high five. It's as simple as the high five. It has profound research behind it because what you're doing when you start counting backwards and you have to count backwards, it does not work if you count up. It doesn't work because counting backwards, five, four, three, two, one, requires you to focus. When you focus, you flip the switch and your prefrontal cortex turns on. This is a starting ritual that interrupts the patterns of overthinking, of fear, of anxiety, of procrastination, of comparison that are making you go, ah, tomorrow, not today, I don't feel like it. Five, four, three, two, one, your prefrontal cortex turns on. That's the part of the brain you need to either learn new behavior or take action that's inspired. So now when you get to one, you got a shot mm -hmm. at doing something different, so move. And here's the real secret to this. The second you started counting, you actually made a decision to change. So the counting is the Trojan horse to the bigger thing you're avoiding. Five, four, three, two, one launches you through the resistance and it pushes you into action. That's the only way you're gonna change. 